my name is Anna and I'm a singer. Hi, my name is Peyton and I'm a dancer. And today, what are we doing today? Today, we are back with a very exciting comeback reaction from a very special group and we will be reacting to Mama Moo. Yes, so Mama Moo is back with a new song called Ahane Tang Pada Mankum, English title. Wait, how many are there? Mum 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 much. And this is part of the special album that they're releasing that includes like not yet released songs, like different versions, recordings of past songs. So that's really exciting. And we have watched the teaser in advance beforehand. So let's go. Yeah, kind of sentimental start. But they start on the ground because it's like they're waking up from a dream. Quirky. What? <laughs> it's like they're like describing themselves. It's so cute. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Like, I um, like the short height. <laughs> That's what I say to you all the time. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, she did the snap finger heart. I really like the background. Yeah. Even like when Hasa started singing, even like their choreography changed to fit her personality. <laughs> Wait, did you hear how they said beast? <laughs> <laughs> you are. This is just so like playful. Mm. Aww, mm -hmm. that's so cute. Wow, background. Okay, so let's say a couple of things about the performance, about the concept. Let's go! I loved this so ma 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 much. So I said at the very beginning, oh, like they start on the ground. And it's like they're waking up because it's like they're entering into a dream. I realized like the longer the song went on, that that really is what it's like. It's very like dreamy and all of the filters on the music video makes it look like a dream because everything's sort of like backlit and like that hazy soft glow around them and everything. The dance itself, like it's very playful. Like you were saying during the song, like, oh, this is just so playful. And I think it's just very personality driven. They have all of the little cute things, like the snap parts, they do their 
their little like hand gesture in it a lot. They're referencing the fact that they're like loving each other and also loving their fans a lot is really what a lot of the lyrics reminded me of, especially when they start talking about like having been like with certain stars for seven years or they're like describing themselves at the beginning. And in doing that in the song, they're reflecting it in the dance, which is very appropriate for a concept like this. And also just for Mama Moo. Like when we did our debut versus recent series with their episode, I talked about how their dances tend to be a little bit more pulled back so that they can do like the things with their voice that they need to do. And this is same sort of thought where they're sort of dancing within their box and so the movements never get too big. I did think it was interesting how going back to it being personality driven for each of their individual parts where like the members would have their verses or like Moon Pyeol's rap part, the choreography would change to fit the members like personality. Like I pointed it out when Pasa started the second verse, I was like wow this has just already become like more grounded and more like sassy than what you had seen in the first verse which was a little bit like lighter. I think the overall feeling of it, it was a little interpretive style. Like I just got that so much from the Hane Dang Pada. I was like, oh, so it's really just like they're telling you a story with their bodies in the way that like interpretive dancing would do that. So I thought it was just really like cute and quirky, which is what they're going for. It's the Mamamoo brand. <laughs> and it's turn. Okay, so now it's time for my comments and where to begin. Maybe it's because I'm viewing this through the lens of like the album that it's coming out with where it's like basically looking back on all their memories as a group. But I was getting so many flashbacks to like old Mamamoo during this song. Like for one thing, the song itself, the style genre is very like retro. You get that with like the synths that they're using and also just like the pads, percussion, and the flourishes of strings make it really whimsical. That made me think of like early days Mamamoo when they were very much like the retro style group. This one felt like very Nona's Munder vibes to me. You're the best. I don't know, just like retro song, denim, dancing by a pool. <laughs> But maybe like a little bit more whimsical than that because like you said it's kind of like fairy tale otherworldly-esque not just in the filters but like also in the lyrics they're literally like referencing fairy tales and it starts off like a fairy tale like a sort of once upon a time like there once was a girl but things adding to that feeling like i said they have the flourish of strings that makes it really whimsical you also hear horns emphasizing things like in the chorus which is also something they used to do a lot in their earlier days and i keep saying the earlier days because especially like, you know, as they mature and grow as a group as time goes on in more recent years, they haven't used that retro style sound as much anymore. So I don't know, I just felt a lot of nostalgia watching this. Anyways, enough of me being an old lady K-pop fan. I mean, we both said that there's a lot of personality in this, but like you hear that obviously in their voices too, like their voices are so expressive. One very obvious one is like, I mentioned the way that they said the word, saying the word beast. Other things though, just like little bendings and slides that you hear that really like milk out a phrase especially in a song like this are very fitting but also very mamamoo another thing very mamamoo is like all the background vocals holy wow all the background harmonies that you hear those layered also add to that otherworldly feeling because it's like sort of a cushion for your ears that you're hearing in the background mixed with like the 80s synth style and all the haziness blights that you're seeing it's like a very good effect like they're all different representations of the same thing i guess you could say i feel like i'm rambling now though because my next comments were just like wow i love their voices and here's why but i have said that in every mamamoo video that we've ever done so i think i'm just gonna cut myself off here but it is my turn to TLDR, so TLDR for this reaction video is Mamamoo is back with their new song, Mamamoo-much, Korean title, Hanui Tang Pada Mankum. This really just like took us on a trip down memory lane of Mamamoo's entire journey, and it really was just like the epitome, definition of true Mamamoo style, everything that makes Mamamoo in one song. That being said, if you also love Mamamoo and everything that makes them Mamamoo and you want to talk about it more, then feel free to come find us on our socials, which are linked in the cards. And if you enjoyed this reaction video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and bye! bye.